Nothing finer than any meal that you could ever dream up involving beef and bacon. And this is a French dish which translates into tender filet. And we are using the most tenderest meat we can find, the tenderloin. We will be adding A1 dry rub sweet mesquite barbecue flavor to our seasoning. Why don't those look delicious? And in a moment, they will become fully finished filet mignons. You're going to need some toothpicks. And this is what we're going to be using to attach the bacon to the filet mignon so they don't fall off. And they are just the perfect size for it too. You're also going to need a cookie sheet that is covered with aluminum foil. And of course, you're going to need the bacon. Now what I've done was I've went ahead and wrapped a piece of bacon around this filet mignon and you can use the entire strip and it will go all the way around held in place by a toothpick and I'm going to show you how to do it right here first you take your filet mignon and then you take off one strip of bacon just one strip of bacon <laughs> thank you and you take the bacon and you wrap it around the outer edge of your filet. Making sure to tuck the one side underneath the other side, wrapping it as tightly as you can. Then reach for your toothpick and you're going to insert the toothpick to hold the two ends together and so that your filet mignon will not lose its bacon. Because there's nothing worse than a filet mignon without bacon. I'll show you how to do that one more time. Take your filet mignon and your strip of bacon, wrap it completely around the outer edge, tucking one side completely underneath the other, overlapping it, grab your toothpick, and insert it into where the ends of the bacon meet. <laughs> Get it? Meat? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm such a kidder. And once you're done with that, you're going to place them right onto your aluminum foil covered cookie sheet or baking sheet. Boy, this never gets old, doesn't it? Look at that delicious bacon going around that wonderful hunk of meat. Tonight we'll be preparing six filet mignons. Let's face it, once you've had one, you're ready for another one. Now, in the event that you run out of space for your bacon, or if the filet mignon is just too big for the strip of bacon you got, then just use two. But always remember to wrap it as tightly around the filet mignon's edge as possible. And if you need to, use an additional toothpick to hold them in place. But fortunately, we did not run into that problem tonight. And as you can see, the bacon goes all the way around your filet mignon and secured tightly with the toothpick. That ain't going nowhere. And with the final filet mignon, which is also the biggest cut of beef we have here. As you can see, still not a problem with this bacon. And here's a more frontal view of the toothpick going in and jab it in there. I can almost hear that filet mignon screaming in agony. But it's got bacon wrapped around it, so I don't think it's too scared. All right, onto the cookie sheet you go. And there they are, all wrapped with bacon, all ready to be baked. Oh, but wait a minute. We're not ready to put it in the oven just yet. 
we've got to season them. And you can use just about any type of seasonings. You can put salt and pepper. You can use my mixture of seasonings, which I'll show you a recipe for later. Or you can download it online in the website of the Opopet Show. Now, what do we do with all this extra bacon? Huh, well, uh, we already covered all of our filet mignons we're going to be using tonight. We've got two strips of bacon. Um, I think I got an idea. There we go. Problem solved. We'll just have bacon on the side. Don't they look lovely? And now we're going to break open our A1 steak sauce rub. This ought to be really nice and sweet. We're using the sweet mesquite barbecue flavor. And they also have a bold original that you can use too. But I'm pretty partial to the sweet mesquite barbecue because it tastes really good. And if you don't believe me, try it sometime. You'll love it. But you can also use the spices from your spice rack, too. Just use a combination of what you think tastes best. My preference would also be onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, a little bit of rosemary. And, of course, don't forget the paprika. Okay, now what we're going to do is rub this seasoning in to make it more even. And you can just do that with your finger like I'm doing here. Until you get it all nice and coated over your filet mignons. Oh, there's a little bit more extra here. I'll take care of that. And there you have it. Nice and evenly distributed. And just let the seasonings just soak right into the meat. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to taste so good when it's done. We're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Not 405. 400. Not 405. 400. Not 390 either. 400. Okay, there you go. Now, that dial can be so difficult sometimes, can it? But once that oven is preheated to perfection at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, then we will be ready to slide in our filet mignons, and we're going to be cooking them for 22 minutes. All right, the oven is now preheated. And in go the filet mignons. <sighs> Sorry, big crowd. Big hun hungry crowd wanting filet mignons. I don't blame them. It's bacon. It's beef. We're going to close this up and let it cook for about 22 minutes for rare or 25 minutes for medium rare or 30 for well done. All right, it looks like it's time to pull those out. And we left them in for about 28 minutes, which will give us about mm, mm, medium well. A little over medium well. Not quite well done. But as you can see, we are done. As done as we can get. And those are going to be some nice, tender, juicy tenderloins. Served and prepared in the style of filet mignon. Nothing can be beat. Look at that. Everything cooked to perfection. Wonderful. I really can't wait to sink my teeth into these babies. Oh, 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 let it hypnotize you. Are you hypnotized yet? Are you hypnotized yet? Is this freaking you out? Is this making you hungry? Okay, I'll stop doing that. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Okay, so you take the... Okay, enough. Enough. Okay. Enough fun with the camera. We're doing something serious. Because filet mignons are serious. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay down this strip of bacon to use as a garnish. And then we're just going to put the filet mignon right over that extra strip of bacon there, just like that. And now to get rid of the uh, bothersome toothpick over there, here's all you got to do. Just take a fork, and right in the middle of the fork, just use it to push against the filet mignon as you remove the uh, toothpick, and that'll help keep it on its plate. And you can remove the toothpick very easily that way. It's no fuss, no muss whatsoever. And doesn't that look like a delicious filet mignon from the side? Here comes another one. And these are cooked about medium well. And there are many different methods that you can use to cook your filet mignons. You can bake them, broil them, braise them, fry them, grill them, charbroil them. Just about any method works. And there you have it. There is the delicious and finished filet mignons. 
right there served on a sliver of bacon there. Nothing could be finer. Doesn't that look like it'll clog an artery or two? Well, it probably will. But you'll probably be loving it every step of the way. And now we're going to test its moisture and its consistency. And looking inside, it looks really done on the inside, but not done enough to be considered well. To give an extra crispiness, remove from the oven and then place on a hot skillet and sear it on both sides for about a half a minute each side in very hot olive oil. That will give it a nice well done texture if you really like your steaks well done. And there is the finished result, served on the side with some mashed potatoes. No two types of foods go so well together than bacon and beef. Well, mashed potatoes too, so you got that. But there you have the finished presentation, filet mignons. And I'm not gonna lie, this meal is not only short and easy, but also fun. It is fun to wrap bacon around these fillets. It is really, really fun. If you love bacon and you love beef, filet mignons will be perfect for your next meal. And if you don't believe me, try it out next time and see for yourself. This is Sonic Blue for Cooking with Sonic Blue. Enjoy your filet mignons, and I'll see you next time. Good, good.